What's up everyone, welcome back, Patrick here. In this next example, we're asked if f of negative one is equal to four, we have to explain how the inverse at an x value of eight cannot equal negative one if f of x is a function. So this here was sent to me by a student, it's a communication type of question, and wanted to go over it. So we're told that f of x is a function. Right, and then notice that we're told that f of negative one is equal to four, which means that on the function, the coordinate negative one and four exists. So if we draw that out visually, it means that at an x value negative one and a y value of four, there's a coordinate right there. And then notice here how we're told that the inverse at an x value of eight cannot equal negative one. Now let's say that it did equal negative one. So let's just assume that. What does this mean here? It means that the inverse function has a coordinate eight and negative one, which means that the function f of x would have a coordinate of negative one and eight. I remember the inverse is just the function interchange, right? So if the inverse has this coordinate, then the function just has this coordinate interchange negative one and eight. But notice that negative one and eight would be up here. This is not to scale, but just want to show it visually. Notice that that can't happen if f of x is a function because then it would fail that vertical line test, right? So if this function, if negative one and four exists on the function f of x, it's a function, then there's actually no other coordinate that can have an x value of negative one with a y value other than four. So there's no other coordinate over here that can happen because it would fail the vertical line test. And that's why the inverse can't have this coordinate because the if the inverse had this coordinate, then the function would have this coordinate, and then at that x value of negative one, we would have a y value other than four. In this case, it was eight. So then the function would fail the vertical line test and it wouldn't be a function anymore, but we're told that f of x is indeed a function.